Right. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm of a cell. Um, it's the first step in cellular respiration of the Krebs cycle. When, when glycolysis occurs, it breaks down glucose into pyruvate or pyruvic acid um, in the cytoplasm. Um, so, yes, um, the glycol glycolysis is a process in which one glucose molecule is broken down to form two molecules of pyruvic acid. Py pyruvic acid or pyruvate. Glycolysis is a multi-step metabolism that occurs in, in the cytoplasm of animals, cells, uh, plants um, and cells and microorganisms. Glycolysis is the first pathway used in the breakdown of glucose to extract energy. Overall, the process of glycolysis produces a net gain of two uh, pyruvate molecules, two, AT, two ATP molecules, and two um, NADH molecules, which I'm going to show uh, a bit later on. So, what I'm just to, to just to sort of um, paraphrase or, or whatever, the, the process of splitting glucose to three molecules of carbon. Um, uh, this is this is what I'm talking about. It's glycolysis here. Glycolysis is, is the breakdown of glucose into smaller molecules to produce ATP, um, and it's the first step uh, in cellular respiration. Uh, so basically, it's the splitting split split, split glucose into three carbon molecules, uh, and this is this is glycolysis. Uh, just, just to reiterate, this is glycolysis uh, into into smaller molecules to produce ATP in cellular respiration, uh, the, first step, uh, the first step of cellular respiration. So glycolysis break, is the breakdown of glucose into smaller molecules to produce ATP um, in, in cellular respiration. Um, and if, if I reiterate again, the glycolysis is the, pro the process of breaking down glucose. Glycolysis uh, takes place with or without oxygen. Glycolysis produces two molecules of pyruvate, two molecules of ATP, and two molecules of NADH, and two molecules of water. And it takes place in the cytoplasm. Um, and uh, sort of it, glu it breaks the glucose molecule in half. Well, it's um, it, approximately, it's not exact or precise. But I'll show you later on. Um, yeah, so glycolysis then, pro process in which one glucose molecule is broken down to form two molecules of pyruvic acid or pyruvate. Um, so if I just if I just show you this here, thank you very much. Thanks. Sorry, it's very. See what I'm talking about here. Thank you very much. Um, if I just show you that. Now, here I've got flavin adenine uh, DIN UC LEOTIDE. And if I give you the chemical formula, C27H33, now that's phosphorus. Um, I'm, so, um, that, that 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 element is phosphorus, so it's two, it's two um, atoms of, phosph of phosphorus, and n nine of nitrogen, fifteen of of oxygen. So yeah, so it's that that's uh, and it's abbreviated to FADH squared, but it's um, C twenty seven H thirty three hydrogen phosphorus two. Nine atoms of nitrogen, fifteen of um, oxygen. Now, if I mention this, when we were doing, when I was talking about glycolysis, we were talking about this compound here, nicotinamide. Um, yeah, that's an A there. So it's N I C O T I N um, A M I D E, and it's adenine. D I N U C L E O tide. And I've got the chemical formula here. 21 of carbon, 27 of of hydrogen, 
seven of nitrogen, uh, um, 14 of oxygen, and um, two of uh, phosphorus. And I've also mentioned something here as well. This word, which is very hard to pronounce, oxal, I'll just spell it to you, O-X-A-L-O-A-C-E-T-A-T-E. -E. It's an intermediate and to do with metabolism and energy. Reacts with, um, sorry, did I show it to you? It reacts with this thing here, um, A-C-T-L, A-C-E-T-Y-L, and then it's got coenzyme A, which is a cofactor and... A co its um, definition of, of that is, uh, I'll explain it to you later actually, but it's C23H38N7O17 P3 and, and it's got S there, which I think is sulphur. Um, so yeah, I, I just thought I'd show that, let you see that. So yeah, so it reacts with that and, and then it forms this actually, sorry it forms a uh, citrate. So it reacts with the thing on this, this word here, reacts with these nice easy words to pronounce, A-C-E-T-Y-L-L-C-O-A, -A -E and it forms, um, it forms citrate. Um, and I've got another one here to show, A-C-E-T-Y-L group, and the, and the chemical formula is CH3CO. And if you do it, it's quite interesting this, because if you do C2H3O, one, one atom of oxygen, it means the same thing. So you've got two atoms there, three atoms there, three there. Um, and um, the, the other one I want to show you is this up here, A-C-E-T-A-L-D, A-C-E-T-A-L-D-E, hide, H-Y-D-E. And it's... CH3, CHO. So it's one, one atom of carbon, three of hydrogen, one of um, carbon, one of, ox one of hydrogen and one of oxygen, as, as you know, um, which I'm sure you know anyway. And it's an enzyme that's not found in humans. It's, I'm not sure, I think it's, I think it's in plants or something, but, but don't quote me on that, not sure. Uh, and I've also put down citric acid. Well, citric acid, I haven't written it properly down. Um, sorry. Sorry, thank you. No, sorry, thank you. Just so can you just sorry, it's C six H eight and O seven. That's citric acid. I've written it down. So it's six atoms of carbon, eight of hydrogen, seven of oxygen. Um, so yeah, I, I just thought I'd show that to you. Um, thank you very much. So yeah, um, just thank you, thank you for that. Very kind of you. Um, so yes, if I go on the pyro pyruvate. Um, break is um, well. If en if oxygen is available, it progresses and it enters the citric acid cycle, and it progresses into that. So the pyruvate break that is the breakdown in the glyco glycolysis, and it it requires um, so the pyruvate en enters the mitochondria in order to be fully oxidized by the Krebs cycle. Uh, glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm, and it requires no oxygen. Now the pyruvate um, enters the mitochondria and it's broken down into. It's, sorry, can I just have you there? Sorry about that. It's broken down into this thing here. Um, this A, A C E T Y L L C O A. So that's a coenzyme A A C E T Y T Y L. Um, so that, that's right. So just thought I'd show that to you. Um, and it enters the thing, and it and it enters the. Um, broken down, enters the Krebs cycle, pr producing additional ATP. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Um, so, yes, yeah, so the pyruvate oxidation takes place in the, mito in the matrix of the mitochondria, in, in eukaryotes, um, and it enters the citric acid cycle, or the Krebs cycle, or... Um, sorry, can I just... Thank you. It, and it, there's a tricarboxylic uh, acid um, there, tricarboxylic acid. Sorry about that. Um, i just put this here. Tricarboxylic acid. And that's TCA. And all these words mean the same thing. It's the second stage of the uh, 